before you, God, we ask you to bless the service, Lord. Yes, Lord. Touch those that are listening. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your favor. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for all that you're doing right now. Yes, Father. In Jesus' holy, righteous name, amen. Be blessed by this, this service. Amen. You can always consider joining us with me in Philadelphia, PA at 3359 Friendship Street. Once again, that's 3359 Friendship Street in Philadelphia, yes. Pennsylvania. Amen. Hallelujah. If you're watching this on YouTube, okay, subscribe to our page or wherever you're watching. Okay, subscribe and follow for more service and content. Amen. Amen. We're all about Jesus Christ here. Yeah. Let's go. Jesus Church. Okay, so we're in the book of Exodus again. Exodus chapter 14. We start at verse 19 as we did in there last week. Bible reads, the angel of God who had been going before the king of Israel moved and went behind them. Mm -hmm. The pillar of cloud moved from before them and stood behind them. Mm -hmm. And this pillar is a pillar that God put there to protect them. Yes. God, you know that. It was put there to protect them. It was there also to give them light, mm -hmm. guidance during the day. Mm -hmm. And they turned to a pillar of fire at night. Okay? Yes. But here God was using to separate Israel from their enemies. Mm -hmm. okay? yes, amen. The Bible says the angel of God. Where they go before, the king of Israel moved and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud moved from before them and stood behind them. Mm -hmm. So it came up between the king of, of Egypt and the king of Israel. And there was a cloud along with the darkness, yet it gave light at night. Thus the one did not come near the other all night. Mm -hmm. Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea back by a strong east wind all night, and mm -hmm. turned the sea into dry land, mm -hmm. so the waters were divided. Yeah. The sons of Israel went through the midst of the sea on the dry land, and the waters were like a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. Read that part again. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept back the sea by a strong east wind all night, turned the sea to dry land. Okay. So, look at this. We see that God leads them to the Red Sea, leads them to a place where you don't feel like they would die. Yeah. Because God did not, because we know that people can't just walk in water mm -hmm. or run on water, walk through the sea. Yeah. Let them to a place that seemingly was like Death Valley. Okay. Mm -hmm. God may leave you somewhere where you may feel like there's no way to get through. I was speaking in, in Kensington, but you don't know if uh, there are really bad drug areas in Kensington and Philadelphia, okay? So I was in Kensington, Philadelphia um, this past Friday, and I was telling some of the people who are deep down there, I was saying, you can feel like there's no way to get out of this, yes. but that's just what you want you to feel like. Mm -hmm. You get to that road, like what am I going to do? There's no way I can stop this. If you're, if you're, um, if you're trying to stop, you know, a certain drug you're addicted to, the withdrawals can begin. Your body will start fighting against your mind, your spirit's will to stop the dependence upon these drugs. Okay? Mm -hmm. And you're saying, look, I need this. And your body has to say, I need this. I need this. I need this. Okay? But I told them something that God showed me. If you just hold on, mm -hmm. okay, hold on. God will bring you through anything. Mm -hmm. Remember when I used to collect comic books? Not the wrong comics, but I spent too much time in reading comics and looking at comic books. Too much time. I knew that. I could tell by the Spirit of God that God would be to take a break from that. Sometimes God would say you take a break from a certain thing or a person, even a type of work. Say so stop doing this right now. Mm -hmm. Many people may fall off of the path of life, yes. the path of their destiny, mm -hmm. because they have not listened. God said, move in a certain direction. Mm -hmm. okay. many, right. people, many people are mad at God. You see them on TV, on the radio, and they're mad at the Lord. And they won't tell you they're mad at God. Mm -hmm. You just see, see them all the time, mad at God. Mm -hmm. That's right. See, so I thought they were so mad. They're mad because they didn't make a turn. Miles back, God told me, 
So now they felt like God gave them. They're saying, when I was at the end pass, I was at the turn, God wasn't there. Mm -hmm. I looked the left, the right wasn't there, but his voice came from above and told them to stop. And he was going to send something for them. They didn't want to wait. They kept on going another direction. Mm -hmm. And they left God and they never saw him again. Mm -hmm. So now God has to send me there. I mean, Jesus is here to send you or somebody else. Say, look, okay? He has to send you to say, look. God's been calling you. Yeah. God's been reaching out to you. Mm -hmm. And now he has to send a, sometimes this happens. Now he has to send a person to say, look. Time is running out. Mm -hmm. That's right. People in this world, it's as if the world is on a non-stop vacation. Mm -hmm. Okay. A non-stop vacation. That's a vacation good. to what, you may ask? A vacation to obey the laws of God. Mm -hmm. A vacation that trying to live holy like they used to try to do in the older days. Mm -hmm. I mean, some America did. America's not a holy nation. I'm not saying it's a righteous nation at all. Though some in this nation have done righteous things. There have been true righteous revivals that have come to pass yes. in this nation. That's, That's the truth. Right. That's right. Okay. That's the truth. But God sends prophets, evangelists, teachers, okay, missionaries. You love to make fun of missionaries. But missionaries are some of the top class. And there's a movie on recently that's all called Top Gun. Top Gun, if you've ever seen it, it's a film about pilots who are at the top of their class from around the world. And they collect all these other pilots, these other pilots into this like group or school mm -hmm. and they basically do different things because they're the top pilots in the world, the That's top right. class, okay? Mm -hmm. People who are missionaries, they are the top, who are called by God and are doing God called them to do the top class. Yes, sir. The devil loves to see what's mm -hmm. The devil says they're, they're going across the road to spread this message. They're going across the world to spread the gospel of you have it heard. The devil doesn't like it. But the devil has no problem promoting it. His wicked agenda, yes. his wicked music, mm -hmm. music that has, has caused much of what you see today. Mm -hmm. Or there's black young men and women killing each other, hating mm -hmm. each other, That's right. murdering each other. And it's not just black, it's the end of this cause to leave your generations. Rap music in the black community never was about violence initially, mm -hmm. but it was allowed to turn into that. Yes. All the artists that wanted to do, artists like Q Tip and other artists that were not speaking violence and death, or most death. These people, they shut them down and they did not give them any record deals. So people, these people in the 90s, even in the 90s, they had a hard time finding any, any record deals. Because these weren't perfect men, but they weren't speaking deaf. And because they weren't speaking deaf, they said, listen, we don't have any time for you. They wonder why they couldn't get a deal. But they ushered in evil wickedness. These people, when the, when the airwaves are raiding around as being some kind of heroes, whereas God's missionaries, the church, Look at it as wicked, evil, mm -hmm. bad, bad guys. That's right. These people, they, they went to the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. Okay, the same thing. We, we, went, we, went, we, went, we went all to the Red Sea, through the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. God is asking you, will you go with me? There's mm -hmm. a song we sing, Will you rock? And it's yes. all, will you rock? Yes, We're saying, Fire in his eyes, a sword in his hand, mm -hmm. rock a white horse across this land. Okay, it's a fire in his eye, a sword yeah. in his hands, and he, he is Jesus, he's riding the white horse across the land. He said, Will you ride? He said, Jesus saw water. The Bible says that what did he do when he saw the water? The disciples were struggling on their boats. He put his right foot out, put his right foot out, and he walked on the water, he put his left foot in that song. He did the Holy Coke, he on the water, man. He said, Look, I'm going to walk right on this water like it's no problem. Because I can do that. That's why. Yeah, that's right. You can't do that. God said, I'm God. There's no, I can't. Mm -hmm. This world is for me. This world was made for me. Yes. To serve me, not the other way around. Oh, it's not me. Remember about the Sabbath? They said, you can't do this on the Sabbath, Jesus. Mm -hmm. You're sinning. He said, no, 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 you don't understand. The Sabbath was made the to not for, the man was not made for the Sabbath. The Sabbath was made for, to help you and for me. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. And he said, I'm the Lord of the Sabbath. I own it. Because I gave it to you. Yes. Even the sea. I said, I gave you the sea. I walk on the sea. Well, the sea's not even walk on. It is my little walk on. Because all things glorify the Lord. Yes. Amen. Am I right about that? Yes. Amen. All things glorify the Lord. The Red Sea, bro, we can't walk on that water. How about this? I'm going to out the way. Mm-hmm. But it's a lot, so there's not going to be a strong wind that's going to come here and move the water about. God said, watch. Watch the wind move at the right time. But this never has happened in all of human history. And the sea's been divided by way, and people won't do it. He doesn't matter. I'm going to make it happen. Mm-hmm. God said, watch this. Hey, walk through there. But what about the enemies that are behind us that are chasing us? You won't be able to get through the wall while you're going through it. Oh, don't you see the power and the grace of our God and the foreknowledge that God already had everything back now? You can even say that God already knew these things was going to happen. <laughs> and our God knew all of these things were going to happen. Yes, I see that. Amen. The Moses stretched out his hand over the sea and the Lord swept back the sea by a strong east wind all night and turned the sea into dry land. Okay. The sons of Israel went throughout the midst of the sea on the dry land. So check this out. They were, they were walking through the sea, but it was dry. It wasn't even muddy. Can you believe that? I didn't. Can you believe that? Mm. They're going by until now. You walk through the sea. That should have been muddy. Mm-hmm. Should have, nope. I don't got it. I said, no, it's going to be muddy. It's going to I didn't. And the words were like a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. Okay. There are all kinds of things that could have been in the bottom of the sea. Dangers. Mm-hmm. Things like that. It could have been maybe a shark that happened to be caught down. Or a shark could have even jumped out. Seen the person. But you know God didn't allow it. But he said waves. The waves acting as a wall. Mm-hmm. So that even if a shark were to see it, it would not be able to jump through the wind. Mm-hmm. Okay. So those ant, those um, sea sea creatures, they look I like on the movie that was called the Prince of Egypt. You see a whale. Coming by as you travel at night, you see a whale, you see a whale traveling and looks at them, and thunder crashes, and the whale looks at them, and he moves, and it just runs out. Can't go this way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know why. The sea is it's split here, but he's looking, it's going another direction. Suspended. That was a cartoon movie, but that movie she did a good job of showing mm-hmm. that moment, some of the things that people were going through. Yes. Hallelujah. People, they like to laugh at the Lord. Mm. And this is a huge mistake. They may not laugh outwardly, mm-hmm. which is to say, ha, 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 I'm laughing. But they laugh at how they live. They laugh at how they don't come to church. Mm-hmm. How they don't work for the Lord. They don't or won't do ministry. Mm-hmm. The call of God is going out. Come, come. All that are thirsty, all that are hungry. And that's everybody. Come. To the water of God. And they sit back and they say, no, no, I don't need to hear that. And the Bible says there was a man who said, Father Abraham, if you would just give me a sip of water on my tongue to, 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 to quench my thirst because, because I'm in anguish in this flame. You think yes. that which man would have, would have prayed and asked God for some water while he was alive? I don't think so. Mm-hmm. I don't think he considered God when somebody needed to talk to the Lord's life. That's why he was in hell. Yes. He said, listen, I got the work. Mm-hmm. They used to say in the 90s, you know, there's a movie called Juice. And people would say in the movie, I got the juice. You got the juice now. That means I got, excuse me, that means I got the power. Okay? I'm the boss, man. Who's the boss now? The boss is God. Yes, I'm If you are a boss, God puts you in that position to be a boss mm-hmm. for a time. But all we are are riches. Renting time that has been given to us by Almighty. Yes, sir. The Israelites are walking through, walking through these waters. Just walking through the waters. Walking through the waters. Can you imagine? You have no clue what's about to happen. <laughs> no clue what's about to happen. They don't have the Bible, but we have the Bible. Mm-hmm. All they know is that they were slaves one day, mm-hmm. and now they're walking through. Waters. Yes. You can even say these waters they've never even seen before. Mm-hmm. Wasn't that far from them, but they I guarantee you most of them never saw those waters a day in life. Mm-hmm. They were able to leave those waters that they were able to find. The slaves in America. 
So even America and Dallas South, they would just go on trips to Canada whenever they wanted to. They were to go to Canada and they would never come back. You know, they stayed in those slave quarters for their whole entire life. Yes, sir. Okay. So these slaves here, they were to go out, go to a new place, and they were being led by God Himself. That's right. Amen. People say, well, God, He needs to help. That's a lie. In the pits of heaven. Yes, when I go out and preach, you know what I do? I go out and I address the lies that the devil has put out. And I cast each and every one of them down if I can. Mm -hmm. I say, you know, the devil loves to say this. That's a lie. Amen. And then I tell people exactly how it's a lie. Mm -hmm. I say, you know, the devil also likes to say that. You can't be free. That's a lie. Mm -hmm. And I cast. That's why the demons get mad at me. That's why they try to attack me. Try to attack me. You see, some people try to attack me because I expose the liar that he is. Mm -hmm. Because he's a liar. That's what you have to do. You have to expose him as a liar that he is. He's a liar. He comes to tell people things that are untrue. So he become trapped, deceived, and he can't get free. Yes. That's all. That's what his job is. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's what his job is. His lies called murder. He said he's a, a, a he said that he's a, um, a liar and father of lies. He was a murderer. Mm -hmm. He calls him a murderer. In the word of God, he says he was a murderer from the beginning. Come on. Not holding us any truth because there's no truth in him. When he tells a lie. So he, he God connects lies and murder. Like they're almost connected, they're doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. He says he was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth because there's no truth in him. When he tells a lie, he's speaking for his Native tongue from mm -hmm. his nation because he's a liar and a father. Yeah. And a father of lies. Amen. That's right. But Jesus, if the devil is a father of lies, what more God mm -hmm. who's not the flip side of the coin to the devil at, at all? But God's all pure. Yes. All righteous. All true. And do you know God is the Holy Spirit is telling me and saying right now? Do you know that the righteousness God and the light of God, the goodness of God, has no limit to it. That's right, come on now. Even says wickedness has a limit to it. Mm -hmm. Okay? And the reason why is because evil is not sent by God. Mm -hmm. It's not limitless, it's not from God. With the things that are limitless and beyond measure, like he seems to give us peace beyond measure, all kinds of stuff, mm -hmm. that is only in the light. That's right. Okay, in the light. And he's the father of light. The Bible says that we we in the light as He is in the light. Mm -hmm. We must be in the light as He is in the light. Okay, there's only one place to be and to live that's in the light. Amen. If, if you had the option of, to be to be blind or to see, you would choose to see. Yes. And when you see, when, you, when your eyes open, you're seeing light. Mm -hmm. You can only see because there's light. Mm -hmm. when you come into the, we came to this church, we turn the lights on. Mm -hmm. Why? So we can see and see properly. Yes, amen. Okay. I want to be in the light as he himself is in the light. Yes. The Bible says, he himself is in the light. The Bible says, God is light. Yes. Okay. So, so if you're running from God's word, running from being saved, hanging in the darkness, hanging in the wickedness, hanging with that woman you're not supposed to be with, and me not supposed to be living with, okay? In that relationship, you know it's not approved by God. Okay, running, you're in the, you're in the land from the Holy Spirit, like, like Jonah was. Yes. Jonah was running on, on the land from God. Mm -hmm. God had mercy on his soul. Yeah. Hallelujah. Glory to you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, the Bible says right here, it says, verse 23, Then the Egyptians took up the pursuit, and all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen went in after them to the midst of the city. At the morning watch, the Lord looked down on the arm of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and cloud and brought the army of the Egyptians into confusion. Mm -hmm. He caused their chariot wheels to swerve. And he made them drive with difficulty. For the Egyptians said, let us flee from Israel. For the Lord is fighting for them against the Egyptians. So here is the Lord is causing more turmoil than people give God credit for when they speak about the exodus through the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. And God calls them to have car trouble. Mm -hmm. He calls those 
wheels and they just had adjusted. Mm -hmm. Start swerving about. So they were driving in the chair. They said, what's going on? And the wheels just made a hard, hard left and then a hard right. They said, what's going on? And someone in the back said, what are you doing? They said, how am I doing this? I don't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you see some of the Israelites in front of them. Say, oh, Lord, oh, help us, help us. And they get game on us. And they get all of a sudden, the chair just spins around and crashes. Mm -hmm. And people see that and say, wow. The salvation of our God. Amen. He's going to come within an inch of them. Mm -hmm. You imagine somebody running, one of those slave masters reaching out for them. Mm -hmm. One of those guys trying to work with them, they actually do the whip. The chariot just spun. Mm -hmm. Now maybe send an angel to spin the wheel. And they flipped over. Mm -hmm. By the time they got up back on that chariot, well, let's see what the Bible says. It says, He caused their chariot wheels to swerve and made them to drive with difficulty. But the Egyptians said, Let us flee from Israel. For the Lord is fighting for them against the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea so that the waters may come back over the Egyptians, over their chariots and their horsemen. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And the sea returned to its normal state at daybreak. While the Egyptians were fleeing right into it. And the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. The waters returned and covered the, the chariots and the horsemen, even Pharaoh's entire army. They had gone into the sea after them. Not even one of them remained. But the sons of Israel walked on dry land through the midst of the sea, and the waters were like a wall to them on their right hand and on their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead on the seashore. Mm -hmm. And Israel saw the great power which the Lord had used against the Egyptians. The people feared the Lord and they believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. Yes. This is the will of God. The will of God is that people believe mm -hmm. in the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. <laughs> In Moses, verse um, 1, chapter 15. And Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song to the Lord and said, I will sing to the Lord for he is highly exalted. Mm -hmm. The horse and his rider he has hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. This is my God, and I will praise him. My Father's God, and I will extol him. The Lord is a warrior. Mm -hmm. Check that out. How people are saying, look at who the Lord is. When they see what God has done, mm -hmm. they will know who He is. Yes. The world today may not believe in our God. But when they see what, he, what He's going to do, what He has done, mm -hmm. they will know that He is the Lord. Yes, hallelujah. He's the same Israelites that told Moses, not even a breath before. Why did you bring us out here? Was it because there was not enough graves in Egypt and he brought us in the wilderness to be killed? Mm -hmm. It would have been better for us to have died in Egypt in slavery than to be killed in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. Now they're saying the Lord is a, verse 3, the Lord is a warrior. The yes. Lord is his name. They know his name now. Hallelujah. The Lord is his name. What a change of heart. Mm -hmm. Pharaoh's chariots, and all they're doing is important what happened with their sin. Pharaoh's chariots and his army is cast into the sea. And the choices of his officers are drowned. Where are they drown? In the Red Sea. That's right, in the Red Sea. Yes, sir. With a name, the Red Sea. Mm -hmm. And that sea was bloody red. Mm -hmm. In the Red Sea. The deeps covered them. Verse 5. They went down into the depths like a stone. Mm -hmm. Your right hand, O Lord, is majestic in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. In the greatness of your excellence, you overthrow those you, who rise up against you. Mm -hmm. You send forth your burning anger, which consumes them as shed. The blast of your nostrils, the waters will pile up. The flowing waters stood up like a heap. Deeps were congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy said, I will pursue. 
I will overtake them with a five spoiler. Now, if you know what spoiler is, basically they say I'm like stuff properly. Mm -hmm. Stuff. Yeah. Yeah, he said, I will pursue, I will overtake them with a five spoiler. My desire shall be gratified against them. I will draw out my sword, my hand will destroy them. You blew with your wing, the sea covered them. They sank like lead mm. in the mighty waters. Goodness. Hallelujah. These people are telling what they saw. I yes. wouldn't heard what they saw. Yes. They saw an a, a army leader. Mm -hmm. His body just flew. Mm -hmm. Down, yes. down, 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 down to the waters. Mm -hmm. Down to the waters. They looked as if as the last person came through. Maybe mm -hmm. he was the elderly. Mm -hmm. So they were slow. As the last elderly person came through, the waters, the walls, crashed together. Mm -hmm. And they saw maybe at a distance, maybe even a short distance, these Egyptians chasing behind the other people. And as they chased, the waters crashed. Mm -hmm. And crashed right on top of them. Yes. And, and the whole nation looked and stood there and saw that. And the sea went back to normal. They didn't hear the voice of God. They didn't hear God say, You are my anointed people. Today I'm with you. All I'm well pleased. But they saw yes. many people you've seen God work, but you still deny Him. Mm -hmm. The Bible says they will be without excuse mm -hmm. at the time. The Lord is bringing forth His judges. The Bible says when the Lord's judges come off across the earth, the world will learn righteousness. Yes. But when God's judges are coming to judgment day, judgment is set. Mm -hmm. There's no more learning to be had. Do you learn all the lessons that are to be learned in judgment day? It cannot help you when it comes to the places of your soul and salvation. Mm -hmm. Because that's already been set for you. Mm -hmm. The day to be saved is today, not tomorrow. That's right. The day you don't have. The Bible says, mm -hmm. now is the time. Salvation yes. probably tells you when you should come to God. Now is the day. Now is the day of salvation. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. I can't come to God because I'm in sin. Mm -hmm. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible says, while we were yet sinners, mm -hmm. Christ died for the ungodly. That means yes. that if you're a sinner, you come to God. Yes. Well, somebody told me I need to stop sinning first. That person is telling you a lie. Come on. A lie from the devil. Mm -hmm. You're being used by Satan, knowingly or unknowingly, to keep you from God. Mm -hmm. That's not people in the church work. Christians, we understand that if we make a mistake, or we're whether we're making a mistake consciously or we're making a great thing inside of sin, it's tied us up, bound mm -hmm. us up. It's like we mm -hmm. bound up. By a sin. Yes. Like a crack is bound up by the cocaine addiction or mm -hmm. they're bound. They can't get free if they wanted to get free. Mm -hmm. And they look, they have the look of a crack kid. Mm -hmm. right? They can't get free. But God's power comes. Yes. When they gain weight, God's power comes. And their body is able to get through it. Okay. If someone were to tell them, listen, you better stop doing crack before you stop doing crack. You want to be able to do it. Okay. For them to stop doing crack, you have to go through a process mm -hmm. of sometimes succeeding and failing, succeeding and failing, succeeding and failing, until they become totally clean. Yes. Same thing with smokers. Sometimes people smoke, stop smoking just like that. You see a cold turkey just like that. But for most people, it doesn't happen like that. Okay? There's people who are addicted to cars. Mm -hmm. Even a car can be an addiction. Mm -hmm. People are addicted to actually cars. They, they love cars more than they love God. They love shining their wheels up more than they love God. They love buying new ribs more than they love God. They love looking at a, se a sexy car more than they love God. Okay? But in hell, nobody's driving any cars. Mm -hmm. There's no there's no mass car at Echo Speedway in hell. Okay? There's nothing wrong with having a car. But certain people, the car is more power than God himself mm -hmm. like is, is more attractive. Mm -hmm. That's right. But if he's your God, he must be your God. Mm -hmm. Either he's your God or he's not your God. That's right. God is not a name that you can know someone. You go to the Lord because you like him. You mm -hmm. want to be a Christian, respect him. God is a name that you call the Lord because in your life, he has full control. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we say, well, God is fully controlling everything you're doing all the time. All the time. I pray so. Sometimes I don't listen to the Lord. But when that happens, I ask God for forgiveness. I tell him, what do you want me to do, Lord? 
every day I'm getting more and more closer to God so that I can understand just how to live with every single day. Okay? But if I say, listen, I'm a believer, I do what I want to do, and if I want to live, I'm sealed, sealed with God. The Bible says, what was me for this? What was him with When he says that he saved, then your fault is made. The Bible reads. Bible says, how does it say? That he take he makes the stand. That's the fault. The Bible says, verse 5, chapter 15, the deep covered them. He went down into the depths like a stone. Mm -hmm. Your right hand, O Lord, said, Jesse and Cal. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. And in the greatness of your excellence, they said, they said, not only is he excellent, they said, he has great levels of excellence. Mm -hmm. In the greatness of your excellence, you overthrow those who rise up against you. You send forth your burning anger, and it consumes them as shaft. At the blast of your nostrils, the waters were piled up. The flowing waters stood up like a heap. The deeps were congealed in the heart of the city. The enemy side will pursue, I will overtake, I will abide the spoil. My desire shall be gratified against them. I will draw out my sword, and my hand will destroy them. You glue with your wind. The sea covered them. They sank like lead in the mighty waters. Mm -hmm. Who is like you among the gods, O Lord? Who is like you, majestic, in holiness, awesome, in praises, working wonders? You stretch out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. In your loving kindness, you have led the people whom you have redeemed. In your spirit, you have guided them to your holy habitation. People have heard and trembled. Anyone has gripped the inhabitants of Philistia, and the sheets of Edom were dismayed. The leaders of Moab trembled, trembled and gripped them. All the inhabitants of Canaan know no way. Terror and dread fall upon them. By the greatness of your arm, they are motionless as stone until your people pass over, O oh Lord, until the people pass over. You have purchased. You will bring them and plant them in the mountain of your inheritance. A place, O oh Lord, which you have made for your dwelling. The sanctuary, O oh Lord, which you have, your hands have established. The Lord shall reign forever and uh, for the horses of Pharaoh, with his chariots and his horsemen, went into the sea. And the Lord brought back the waters of the sea on them, as the sons of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea. Miriam of Provinces, Pharaoh's sister, took the temple in her hand. And all the women went, at, went out after her with temples and with dancing. Miriam answered them, Sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted, the horse and his rider, he is hurled to the sea. Mm -hmm. And Moses led Israel from the Red Sea, and they went out into the wilderness of Shur. And they went three days in the wilderness and found no water. Mm -hmm. And they came to Marah, they could not drink the waters of Marah, for they were bitter, therefore it was named Marah. The name Marah means bitter, so I believe. Yes. So the people grumbled at Moses, saying, What shall we drink? Then he cried out to the Lord, the Lord showed him the tree. He threw it into the waters, and the waters became sweet. Mary made for them a statute and regulation. Mary tested them. He said, if you will give earnest heed to the voice of the Lord your God, and do what is right in his sight, and give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of the diseases on you which I have put on the Egyptians. For I, the Lord, am your healer. Then they came to Elam, where there were twelve springs of water, and seventy palms. They came there beside the waters. Mm -hmm. So they went from going through the water, mm -hmm. having no water, yeah. grumbling for water, <laughs> receiving water, going to another place, 
to where seven springs, I believe, of water. Yes. Twelve um, springs, excuse me, of water. It's 70 big ponds. Mm -hmm. And they camp their massage waters. This, at this point, at that junk, junction that they had stopped at, was they were going to move. Mm -hmm. They didn't stay there. But at that point, they were, have, they were able to have rest. With regards to at least water. Yes. Now we see step by step, God is leading them. Mm -hmm. Step by step, day by day, God is taking us. Mm -hmm. He's taking us to a place we can understand. God will never leave you, nor forsake you. But Jesus, I will go through always, even until the end of the age. Yes. His Bible is true, ladies and gentlemen. His Bible, His Word here, is 100% the truth. Yes, how do you know? The devil wants you to believe the Bible has been changed. Wants you to believe the Bible is false. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you any lies, so you miss God and go to heaven. That's mm -hmm. the best thing That's it. it. Mm -hmm. God's given us every truth in His Word. You can read the Bible alone on your own and tell the Bible is it's, it's genuine. Just by reading it. Mm -hmm. The devil doesn't want you to start with that. I'm telling you, a thousand lies. It's about movie after movie, film after film, person after person who seems to have wisdom. The Bible says wisdom is words foolishness mm -hmm. in the eyes of God. Why? We're telling you to look at something besides God. But when you stand in God, in front of God in judgment, those people won't be there to help you. That's right. You're not going to be there to say, well, listen, God, I didn't believe you, but can you get, can you get, um, you're cooking, um, can you get Tina Williams? I need Tina Williams. Tina, come in, come in, man. <laughs> Tina's not even going to come help you, man. Why not? I listened to Tina on Facebook for years and she told me that you know, the Bible was going to change. I just had to believe my own energy, put my energy out there, make sure God's the only God that good energy. I mean, I made sure that I had everything that crystal I needed. I was doing it to try to do the right thing. God's going to tell you, why didn't you read my word? Yes. Why didn't you read my word? Mm -hmm. It's because you believe that somebody told you that they were smarter than me. Mm -hmm. How? How? No, I didn't believe they were smarter than you, God. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. Because you believe that I could not keep my word clean. You believe that I could not go out maybe a few thousand years. I couldn't keep my only really two thousand years. You believe that I could not keep my word actually less than two thousand years. I think about it. Because by the way, when Jesus died, he never read the Bible. Why must he die? Okay, he died two thousand years ago. So it's actually less than that. You couldn't believe that God, in a matter of a couple thousand years, could keep his word pure in hand in hand. But you could believe that this information this person is telling you is worth living your life for. Mm -hmm. So you give them your life and you tell God, you give God a hand. Yeah. No, no, God. Yeah. Talk to the hand, God. Mm -hmm. Not now. And, and now you're saying, now you're saying, Lord, offer me the olive branch. Mm -hmm. Lord, let me come let in. Me in. God would say, no, 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 no. You never let me in one day in your life. Lord, you let me in. Well, you know I love you. God, the Bible says right here, it says that, what does it say? It says, do the back, it says, it says, um, at the more you watch, the Lord, this is verse, this is chapter 14. He said in 24, it says, At the morning watch, the Lord looked down from the army of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire. Mm -hmm. So he said, God is looking. Mm -hmm. He's looking down and saying, Well, let's see what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Anybody can say, Love God. Anybody can say they hate God. But let's see what you're going to do. There are people that say they aren't believers. They don't, they don't like going to church, but they really do love God, but they don't understand who God is. Mm -hmm. They may have been blessed to have the church, ready to have the church. They may have been people that like the people that have been blessed by preachers. The people who have been um, taken advantage of by people who are in you know, clergy positions. Okay? And people have been lied to, taken advantage of, robbed. Okay? And it's a shame, but some of these people, many of these people, they want the Lord. Mm -hmm. Some of these people don't believe in the Bible at all. And they feel like, well, people who represent the Bible, I don't want them. They say they don't know. But God will look down at their actions. Mm -hmm. Look down at them and see who they really are. Man. He's looking down. Yes. We can know if he's looking down that he loves us, he will never leave us, or forsake us. His word is true. And if he's bringing you a, 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 um, salvation, 
they'll give you a sign of salvation. Yes, yes. that's right. That's right. Lord, take care, Lord. Mm -hmm. My God will bring you a sign of salvation. Mm -hmm. Makes you go, how does God do that? Because the Bible, God said that He would lead the children of Israel out of Egypt, all right, the wrong way. That's right. Yes, He said He lead them out. Did He lead them out immediately? No, no. But what He did was He did a series of signs, mm -hmm. and then finally let them out. Yes, He did. So the children of Israel were able to put faith in the signs until the you know, day came when they were, when His uh, word came to pass. Mm -hmm. They were there to see God turn. Water and wine. They weren't there to see frogs come. They weren't there for Moses to come and make I'm talking about the Israelites to see flies. Mm -hmm. Those things were interesting for them, but those weren't meant for them necessarily when it comes to judgments. Mm -hmm. But it was meant for them to see mm -hmm. and understand that it's coming. It's coming. Yes, it's right. coming. God is yes, coming with what he said. You may not believe that Jesus is returning soon, but look at the signs. Everything that's in the Bible, everything that's in the Word, everything that's in this Word right here is coming to pass. People are waiting. Because they're, they're still on that long vacation. <laughs> that long vacation. My goodness. It's almost like in the year 1995, maybe in the 80s, somebody said, We're over everybody. It's a long vacation going on. Talking to being a Christian? Oh, you know, I'm uh, pretty tired of being a Christian. Talking about going to church every Sunday? Oh, I'm talking about missing football? That church stuff? Time to that church. Come on now, be serious. You're tired of going to church, ain't you? Yeah. Well, you want to go to the beach on Sunday, didn't you? But you had to go to church, huh? Missy, you couldn't even go to the beach, huh? Because you. you're right about that. What should I do? Well, we got something for a long vacation. Mm -hmm. The kind of vacation you need it. And yeah. check this out. You deserve it, too. <laughs> you're right, I do deserve it. Well, how, when is the vacation going to end? So this, this vacation is going to go on and on. It may go to the 90s. Might even go to the early 2010s. For all we know, go to the 2030s or the 50s. Listen, we need you to get on the ride. All you need to do is sign up right here. Oh, can, can you, can, we don't use pins right here. We need you to sign up with your blood. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. I mean, why would I sign up? Listen, listen, just sign up. Sign up. Mm -hmm. Come on, drink. There's no reason for you not to. I mean, come on, don't you like the cases? Mm -hmm. Everybody does. Everybody does. Like, okay, I'll sign up. Sign up. And sign right away. Yes. And now you're still on the vacation. Oh, boy, true. Being on a yacht is sure is fun. Being on the boat sure is fun. I'm not really doing anything but hey, you got beautiful women going by every day. Now you got this new thing going on on, on, on a cruise. It's called, it's called TikTok. And you got another thing on Instagram. I mean, there's new stuff going on every single day. I mean, well, yeah, those things may be very nice, but they must be there all the time. But no, listen, man. These things are fun. Why not? I mean, I'm on a vacation. Mm -hmm. A vacation from my problems, as some people say. I'm always on vacation. Yeah. God wants you to be happy. That's right. Well, <laughs> well, you want me to feel good. Now, I'm, I'm not going to stop him from his word being fulfilled. <laughs> so they go on that long vacation. I'm obeying a long vacation from really trying to figure out where God is. <laughs> you know, the old days, they used to try to figure out if God wanted them to be an evangelist. Maybe God wanted me to be a pastor. Maybe God wants me to be a preacher. Maybe God wants me to be a singer, sing around the world, maybe a missionary. Those days are long gone. <laughs> we got a long vacation for everybody. It's called a community vacation. Mm. Whether you're a Christian, atheist, and the vacation is being held in this place called the World Wide Media Web. Mm. World Wide Media Web. It's not just the World Wide Web, it's media. Wherever you are, our media is there for you. Yes. Well, she will take care of you in the morning. Mm -hmm. Nobody there with you to wake up in the morning, we got you. Mm -hmm. What about at nighttime? Got the woman next to you, but she ain't, she ain't doing it. Don't worry, we got you too. Well, husband at work? Don't worry about it. We're going to take care of you. Mm -hmm. That Bible stuff, man, you can close that book. <laughs> we don't need that anymore. Because we got all that shit we need. Mm -hmm. It's right. We, we look, look, we, we look, we, 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 we care about you so much. We're going to put it on your phone. Mm -hmm. And look, check this out. Not the big phone, we're going to make it real small. What? Don't want to fit in your pocket because your pocket's too small? You can make it small and fit inside right in your pocket. Mm -hmm. One day you're going to make it right inside your brain. Mm -hmm. One When that day comes, vacation will not end. Mm -hmm. Not end. You know, I think that there was some angels that say, you know what, we, we tired of serving God. I'm going to go on vacation. The devil said, listen, guys, I don't know how to go on vacation. Follow me. Mm -hmm. Follow me. I'm the vacation man. 
He was actually the con man. So I'm already working. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I'm on vacation right now. They came to work with the guy. You want to join? He says, sound good, but I don't know who's the for me. God said, this is the gone on, no, brother. Nah, no, brother. Vacation is just getting started. Yeah. And I think that you need to hop on board because mm -hmm. you don't want to miss out. Now, you don't want to miss out. That they call it FOMO, fear this not. Yeah, it's not real. <laughs> you don't want to miss out. Amen. Amen. So they said the people, the angels, I said the angels, they just pray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the business going. Listen, what are you waiting for, brother? Oh, no, no. Listen, man. Listen, we're doing something new. You don't want to miss out. I mean, wait a minute, we can't do this against God, Lord. He, he created us. No, no, listen, man, listen. He all lose. We 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 gonna lose that. He know we don't. And right now, maybe we're in this world, we left the Lord, and they're running. The rest of the demons. Running, running, running. They don't see the demons, but those demons are invisible. Mm -hmm. So they don't know. Because if they were to see those demons, they would understand the reason why the demons are so dirty and dark looking and angry on the is because they did what y'all are doing. That's right. And they turn them into terrible beings. They mm -hmm. destroy them. And y'all are running the same world that they were in. So you're doing mm -hmm. the same thing. So they don't want to be seen. Those demons don't want you to see them. Because you can't do what they did, see nothing. Yeah. They need to be in, out, of, out of the way, out of sight, out of mind. So you can do, repeat the same thing they did. Mm -hmm. so, so while you're running, somebody may say, listen, man. God is real. Angels are real. You say, no, yeah, I don't see them nowhere. Where are they at? Where are they at? Mm -hmm. Demons are real. No, they're not. No, they're not. They were sitting back in hell saying, God, too easy. Too easy. And God says, open up my word. Light from my feet. Light from my head. Amen. It's direction in my life. Will you come to the Lord today? The question I was asking. Amen. Watch this. I ask you to clear that. And as Jesus come into your life, as he just said, when Jesus come into my life, wash me by blood. Yes, God. Save me. I want to be a believer. I want to be saved. I want to be a king's kid. Mm -hmm. I want to be a child of Jehovah, the king. Yes, I want to keep doing this evil world, serving Satan. I understand that you're a real God. I understand that I've lived in this sin for a long time. And I want my family to go down this road. And I want to leave my family to a dark end. Mm -hmm. My children to know that you are the Elohim God. My family to realize that you are the King of Kings. My mother said, well, I already know that you're God. Mm -hmm. My father said, we accept him today. Yes. He waited for those would come. Yes. And you say, well, brother, when is the time? Now is the time. Yes. Now is the time. Yes. Now, is the time. Yes. Now, is the, now is the day of salvation. Now is the time for you to accept Yeshua, which is the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. yes. Now is the time for you to say, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. As we close today in the service, God is another clues, but he's always ready and open and willing and able. Mm -hmm. Your time of willing to get to call him now. Now. Listen to this, listen. And do it now. If you're back split, come to him now. You're shooting Jesus. I'm sorry for sinning out of pit. Wash me in blood and save me, Lord God. Call on the name of the Lord right now. Call on the name of the Lord who can save you. Save us. We ask you, Lord, save this world, Lord. We give this world, Lord God, and bring revival right now. Even now, God. What is happening even now? Sinful and spirit, God. Save, deliver. We pray through signs and miracles. We your service like a they have never seen. Through the youth. Through the old. Through all. Through signs and wonders. Call the people that walk in the darkness. People that don't know you, the cults. Mm -hmm. Save the cult members. Yes, save the Muslims, Lord. Save yes, the Eastern Indians. Save the Nazis. Yes. Save those that make fun of you, cause them to be saved. Give them another chance, Lord. According to your will and your time. Mm -hmm. What we've done in the time is short. Show forth your power and miracles. Yes, 
before God said, let the nine know what you're doing. And make all your name, Jesus, in righteous holy name. Shine for us. We say, shine, Jesus, shine. Yes. Shine in the city of Philadelphia. Shine across this nation. So now people will speak the truth. They will lead the youth to righteousness. Yes. They will lead people to righteousness instead of leading them down a dark path, God. Call people to wake up out of their slumber and their sleep and say, where are we going? It's wrong. We're going to hell. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? In Jesus' name, it's his son. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. God bless you. And we'll talk to you later.